How's it going guys? It's Raccoon Games here today and we're getting a top 10 list for all the games coming out in 2014-2015. Now, this is my list, my opinions, so you don't have to have the same list, but I think you're gonna like these games. Alright, number 10, H1Z1. Yes, it's a zombie game that, almost like DayZ, but Sony has promised that it works and I just can't wait for it. And it's like Plan B, if Plan B, if Daisy fails, and I'm praying that Daisy does not fail because that game, just so much anticipation, so much, so much work done into it that we just kind of let it fail, guys. Even if it was like a Kickstarter, we would have to help. All right. So then, number nine, Daisy. The full game. Now, Daisy come out last year, but it's not. It's like the alpha. So, like, I'm I'm hoping for the like, full game with like fully updated, full, uh, you know, cars and like all those building stuff that they promised. And then, and yeah, number eight, Goat Simulator. Now, I watch a lot of gameplays about this game from like almost every YouTuber, like from PewDiePie to the Yogscast. Everyone is playing it, and it just looks so much fun. I it came out. April 1st that was like three weeks ago and it just looks so much fun so even though it's out it's, I think it still deserves a, a spot on my list I actually have a piece of paper right here in front of me and where I'm reading off all the games I listed so yeah if anyone wants to buy me uh, Ghost Simulator hint hint S number seven division now division it's a post-apocalyptic game i hope i said that right post apocalyptic game taken in new york city where you're a spec up soldier trying to find a cure and it's actually a lot of fun it's like multiplayer single player kind of thing co-op and then number six battlefront star wars battlefront all right now this game it's like who uh, who played a star wars game and just it felt boring after you choked all the guys and just slashed everyone with the lightsaber games like for the PSP I forgot what it was called Star Wars um I forgot what it was called but when you play as the Jedi son uh, uh, whatever I forgot I had that game and it was just so fun where like the first mission you play as um Darth Vader and, the la and then you play as his son afterwards he tried to kill Dark, you know, on the end you kill the Empire. But yeah, so this one is first person, it's got guns, it's got spaceships, you can travel from planet to planet, pretty sure. And then, yeah, it just, yeah, that's all I have to say, it's just awesome. And then, number five, the equal five, we're halfway through the list, guys, halfway. Destiny, alright? Now this game is made by Bungie, who made Halo. And I loved Halo. I kind of got pissed when they left and started uh, making Destiny. But afterwards, it looks so fun. You got like your classes. You got like you can play as a human or you can play as these aliens. You can like do anything with those classes. But yeah. And then um, well, let's see. What else can you do in Destiny? Huh? Well, I, don't, I forgot. But number four. Now this game already came out, but I. Deserves another spot just a goat simulator. All right Titanfall Yes, I got the game. It's so much fun. I've been playing it for like ever like generation 2 it's, it's just so much fun. I'm like generation 2 level 10 It's just so much fun if you don't have the game you have to buy it. I mean I heard that on the Xbox uh, one it's pretty glitchy because it's got like it goes like 10 FPS when Everyone's in like a Titan, but PC, it's got like no problems and it's just epic. So you have to get that game. You have to try it out if you haven't yet. Number three, Dying Light. Now this is made by the same people who made Dead Island and Dead Island was a fun game. Uh, I like the horror aspect of it. Where, like if you're playing single player, you just shit your pants in Dead, um, Dead Island and then but Dying Light, it's got Dead Island with parkour. So like, you could call this Dead Island 
parkour. That's pretty much what you can call it, and it and it'll work. And then, and yeah, I, I haven't seen any multiplayer games, so I'm hoping there's multiplayer in that, because that'd be fun co-op parkour. Am I right? There, I don't think there's any other games with zombies and parkour in it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Put in the comments another game with zombies and parkour. All right, number two, Alien Isolation. Now this is an epic get horror game. All right, it's probably gonna be the first horror game when it comes out that I'm uploading onto YouTube. It's got what's they're not to get. It's got horror like a maze, and then it's got a zo not a zombie. Damn it, an alien. Just one alien that's trying to like. It's got it's taken over the whole place and it's got its own mind so it moves freely and it's just trying to hunt you down number one now this game comes out at one day after my birthday it's called Watch Dogs now who doesn't want Watch Dogs it's a game it's like GTA with hacking all right just imagine GTA GTA that's all you need to know it's GTA is good why am I saying GTA over and over again GTA 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 no okay Watch Dogs is GTA with hacking. GTA. I'm, I think I'm okay. Alright. It's, it's got hacking, and you can hack into almost anything. Like in GTA, where you go up to a car and break in, and then you ha hotwire. Uh, Watch Dogs, all you have to do is hack into it. The door opens, you go in, you chase whoever you want. Or you just look like a pimp. Yeah. I'm a pimp. Alright. So that was my top 10 list, everyone. And le leave uh, in the comments, leave what you you are waiting for in this. If you if you like my list, in the comments, just put put your own list. You know, like your top five or your top 10. And then, yeah. So like, sub, favorite, and see you guys in the next episode. Bye.